Hi everyone, welcome to my very first technical video. In this video, I am going to talk about integration of API.ai with a Node.js application which we will be using it as a webhook. Um, if you are going to develop some application for uh, Google Assistant, then definitely you, you will find this particular uh, tutorial very useful. It's a very simple, very, very, very simple uh, tutorial and you will learn very quickly that how to integrate an external API which is written in Node.js with your API.ai application. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have let's first have a look at the sample that what we are going to achieve in this tutorial so let's see what we are going to do in this demo talk to copy cat this enter sure here's copy cat copy cat is at your service speak something hey copy cat how are you Hey copycats, how are you? So this is what exactly we are doing in this API. We are sending a text to our Node.js application, our external API, and that external API is sending us back the same content for speech. So you can actually reuse this application to develop your own APIs and, and do your own stuff. Okay, so let's see. So here's a uh, uh, very small repository that I have created for this application. So you can see there are a few files. So you should be more interested in only one file, which is index.js. So let's see what's there in this file. So you can see here we, I have created one, one API which is accepting a couple of parameters through post and uh, this is how it is structured, result, parameters, and ecotext. So ecotext is the actual content that I'm expecting. This this API is expecting, and if it's missing, then we have a default text also. And this will be our response, which this API will be sending back. So it is exactly the same text which it is uh, accepting uh, as a post parameter. Uh, okay, let's go back and see the README file. So in readme file you can see that we have a link to deploy this application to Heroku so you can go to this website and you can deploy your application which you have uh, pushed to your github account I have already done that so I'm just going to see how uh, how we can redeploy it so there you will find this menu click this deploy button you can see that this is already connected with the github repository and uh, uh, you can see the links also and now I'm just going to redeploy the branch the master branch here at Heroku okay let's see it's launching okay cool so it's done it's all green now to check whether this API is working fine or not we have a few websites available so I'm going to use this hull.it so here you can actually write the method and the complete path of your API and see this is the API its name is echo and I'm expecting one parameter echo text here but I'm not going to send it at all but uh, we should expect this response in the API okay let's just check it okay, I'm not a robot definitely so friend one two three verify cool I'm good at it okay launch and let's see okay cool so we are getting the response speech display text and source also uh, if you go back to your git uh, you will be able to see that we were expecting one parameter actually we did not send it but we we get uh, the default response over there so API is working fine now let's go to the API.ai login I am going to log in with Google okay so I think we are all set okay now the very first thing that I am going to do here is I have to create a new agent so we will be using this agent to use the git uh, application the application that we hosted on uh, Heroku okay let's name it as copycat and save it 
and let's write its description as echo your text cool I'm saving it and you can see there is a default there are a couple of default intent so we are going to use one of the default in intent which is a welcome intent uh, there are a few text responses which are already there so let's remove these so don't worry about this what is this so let's let's get rid of these and let's change the text of one of the text response uh, and let's write it down as copy cat is at your service speak something cool so this is one intent so we are going to retain it okay, let's save it now let's go back to intents and let's create one new intent let's create one new intent so we are going to actually repeat whatever we are going to type or say so let's name it as echo so after saving it what we can do is we can set some context and what user is going to say we know that user can say anything so let's use text so this is a placeholder basically for me uh, we will see uh, the use of it and here the parameter name is very very important uh, we are going to use the same echo text parameter name so forget about this result dot parameter for the typing so echo text is the important thing and its value should be should be should be tracked as dollar echo text and now what is the entity so there are some predefined entities so it is very smart engine which actually tells you what kind of data uh, are we expecting so we are expecting any kind of data because it is it will be text only so here I'm now selecting this context and I'm going to relate it with my sys any dot echo text so now everything is related so now uh, the smart engine knows that whatever I'm going to say should be treated as echo text okay if even if you are not able to uh, uh, get it right now don't worry so just go download this application and try all these steps you will be able to understand now the next very important thing is that we have to have a webhook and here we are going to use the path of the same api that we tested earlier okay let's click done save it and let's go back to the intents and let's go to echo intent and try to test it okay let's see if it works fine or not hello how are you okay i'm clicking it and entering it okay so in response section we are getting not available so something is still not working there's some problem let's check the json okay and Jason we can see that we sent hello how are you but we have not received anything in the fulfillment section okay there's something wrong and the wrong thing is that we have not checked this checkbox use webhook okay now it's checked let's save it and let's test it again okay hello 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 okay hello 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 and the response is also hello 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 cool let's see what's in the json okay so results parameter and then echo text and the text is hello 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 and then in fulfillment we are ex we are receiving speech source display text hello 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 hello, hello. and in resource you can see it's a web hook web hook echo sample which is the same that we you we are using we are we are sending from our api okay cool so now we know that this response is actually coming from api so whatever we are sending to other api api is sending it back to us now let's test it in the simulator so here we go action on google let's enable it and let's call its invocation name as copycat 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 okay so what should be the default intent the welcome intent so you can select one of the intents that you have created so we are going with the welcome intent by authorizing it after authorizing it let's go and click the preview button it will it will show a small overlay 
click the link and it will open the web simulator for your Google Assistant. Let's start it. Okay, talk to copycat. Sure, here's copycat. Copycat is at your service. Speak something. Hi, copycat. How are you? Hi, copycat. How are you? India is great. India is great. Sachin Tendulkar is the best. Sachin Tendulkar is the best. Stop. I hope you like the video and if you really do then please go to my channel and watch my music videos also. Yeah. Bye bye.